that was lovely. Okay, let's learn some math. Okay, so I have a question from Danny R. Cotoran. 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 That's from Dragon Ball Z. If you're a real person, you know that. If you're not, and you don't, and you don't know nothing. What are you talking about? Okay. So it says, can the master math teacher ever teach me how to solve this problem? Pfft. Yeah. He could, but he makes a lot of money, and he lives in California, so you're stuck with me. Ha <laughs> that's what's up. Alright, check me out on Twitter if you want. Subscribe to this if you want. All that stuff's right there. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Um... WXYZ is a rhombus. What is the measure of angle XYZ? Okay, well, a rhombus. First off, a rhombus, the big thing about it is that all four sides are equal. Okay, well, and that's cool. Another fun fact is that all of the diagonals, which means it goes from one angle to another, that it's not on the same side, because if you went to this one, well, it's just going to follow the line. That's not a diagonal. So both the diagonals make right angles whenever they cross. That's going to be our key here to solve this. Okay, so that means that this right here is a right angle, which means that what is this equal? 7x plus 6 equals 90. So we just solve it. We subtract 6 from both sides. 7x equals 84. And then we divide 84 by 7 and we get 12. Okay, so if x equals 12, we can plug that in to this one to find that angle, which is what we want. Because we already knew this one right here was 90 degrees. Okay, well we don't know that one, so let's plug it in. Because if x equals 12 here, it equals 12 here. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 16 is 40. So, if I redraw this larger, because, well, it just makes it easier. Now that's 90 degrees, and I know that was 40. Okay? So if I wanted to, just for funsies, I could find this angle right here. I'll just do, I know a triangle equals 180. So I just do 90 plus 40 is 130, and I subtract them, and that angle right there is 50. Doesn't matter, I just did it because we're awesome and we want to do those things. Okay, so let's figure out what we do. Now, um, what we do is we want to find the measure of this little fella right here, correct? It says measure of X, Y, Z. So X, Y, Z. You didn't see that. X, Y, Z. Okay. So... Um, we know this is a right angle. We already knew that. Now, another fun fact about rhombus is rhombus, 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 is that whenever these hit, these suckers are angle bisectors. Okay, so like a good way to test that, that's not a rhombus, that's a kite. Draw a bunch of different looks for it and see if it still looks like it can be angle bisectors. That looks good. I'm trying to think of other ways we can draw a dang rhombus. Don't matter. It's one of the properties of it. You'll memorize it or you'll just figure it out as you do it. Um, so you would just say, well, if that's equal, then that means this has got to be equal to this. So if that was 40 degrees, this is 40 degrees. And we already found this little fella, which would be 50. Now, if that's 50, that means this one has to be 50. So what is the measure of this angle right here? It would be that 50 plus that 50, which is 100. What am I doing? Woo, I'm trying to show off this. Okay, that's enough. Let's hit him with the outro. Tyler, where you at, boy? Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out tarverkabby.com. Pizza?